Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58, the channel that reviews wigs for the mature woman. I'm coming back to you really quickly because I made a little bit of a discovery. Um, I was looking at this DeVita wig that you know I love and I really felt like two things needed to be done that I still had not done. One is that the humpiness here was just really driving me crazy. So I actually took a hot comb to it and I really took the hot comb to it to flatten it as much as possible and it looks so much better flattened out like this. Um, I hadn't really flattened it before but I really took the time to flatten it this time. And another thing that I did that I noticed on another YouTuber's page, um, someone I, I'd never seen before and I'm going to put her name down at the bottom so that you can go and follow her as well. I saw her review this wig and she actually plucked it. Now, just for a minute, I want to talk about lace part wigs versus lace front wigs in terms of plucking. Normally, if I get a lace part wig, it has lace in the front, but usually there's only this much room in the front to actually pluck it. So sometimes I don't even bother doing that. And with this wig, I did not. Um, I didn't have to pluck the part because it was fine, but I did put powder in it and that was it. I went about my business. But after I watched her video, she actually did something that I thought was interesting. She went in, even though there was only this much room, she went in and it looked as if she pulled out the first maybe line or two of hair. Now you know this is a dark rooted um, wig. So because it's dark rooted, the hairs are dark. And so just pulling out that first line or two of the hair really made a difference in the lace and the way the lace looked in terms of it laying and looking more melted. And I did that to mine and now I really love it way more than I did before. So um, that was just something I wanted to come back and tell you guys. Yeah, you should go and follow this lady. Um, I don't know how new she is to YouTube, but I, I just found her. And I really thought that that was a good idea. And so really what I'm gonna be doing is I'm probably gonna start really thinking about plucking even if it's just one line to make it look more natural because a lot of these lace part wigs like for instance the Nisha wigs that came out they did not have lace um, in the front I mean they weren't like um, 13 by 4s or whatever they were just lace part wigs and so um, I don't know that too many people actually went in and tried to pluck that little area there but um, after I did this, I thought, wow, it makes a big difference. I can kind of make myself a lace part wig that's not, I mean, a lace front wig that's not really lace front. Um, so they probably would have benefited from something like that too. I don't know, maybe some people did pluck it, but I don't recall anyone saying that they actually did pluck those. And I know that they're, um, everybody's going really crazy over the new Julianne wig because of the fact that it is a full, it's a 13 by 4 or 6 or something. Anyway, it's got lace that you can actually part where the other niches did not. And so I'm thinking, but there's an opportunity for us when it comes to these lace part wigs to still make them look better by plucking even that little section. And like I said, I didn't think that line or two was going to make a big difference in my wig, but it did. And of course, laying a lot more heat down on this wig was really a good idea. So I'm glad that I did that. Um, yeah, I'm still loving this wig, as you guys know. And I just wanted to come back and, you know, tell you guys that because I really thought that that was a great idea and I wanted to share it with you. Granted, it is more work having to pluck um, the front of a lace front wig. It is more work, but it's not that much work because it's only like one line of hair or two lines of hair just to give you a little extra uh, lace front um, for the wig when you're wearing it. So I just wanted to come back and share that with you guys because I thought it was a really great idea. I tried it and it worked well for me and I thought maybe you might want to try it and have it work for you. So again, thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. And as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, ladies, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good and of course, so are you. See you next time.